Screencasting refers to two different options. It is essentially recording what is happening on your screen, which would allow you to create a video that follows what you're doing online, or you could create a narrated PowerPoint with the material that you're having on your screen. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be in a course in your Canvas shell and I'm going to click on the My Media option so that I can engage Kaltura. And once I get Kaltura opened I'm going to click Add New and it gives me four options and what I'm looking for is a Kaltura capture. So that's going to essentially capture everything that's on my screen. So if I click on Kaltura Capture, give it a second to think here, and you can see it's asking me to open a third-party desktop recorder. So I'm going to say OK with that. If this is the first time you've done it, it tells you that you can download that recorder here. I've done this in the past, so you can see it's opening up on my screen here now and here is my screen so as you can see it does a camera view so I've got my camera closed up here so you can't see the camera I can also have it record my screen so right now I've just turned that off um, I'm gonna turn my camera off and you can see it asks me if it wants when I click on the screen option it asks me do I want to capture the full screen or just a selected area. So if I only wanted, say, this area here that's in gray underneath, I could just say selected area and it'll actually ask me to, as you can see here, go and outline the area that I want it to capture. So I'm just going to cancel that because I want the whole screen. And then with the audio, you can turn the audio on or off and it will actually pick up whatever it is that you've got. So in this case, it's my Zoom audio device that I've got. So what I've got here now is I've got everything set up. All I need to do now is click this big red button and it will start recording. So to give me a countdown, and it is now recording. You can see I'm going here in the bottom and it is picking up things here. Um, so if I was showing students, okay, I want you to click on the home button first. And then once you reach the home, we're going to go and click on the modules option. And then the content that you're looking for is if you scroll down into session three, you'll see there's a couple of readings there, some resources. And what I want you to pay particular attention to, though, is in session 4B, you'll see there's a handout there with an accompanying video, and I want you to watch that video. So what's happening here is the system is recording everything that I've just said and recording the clicks. Essentially, it's recording everything that's on the screen, including my voice. So in this case, I was using a... Um, essentially Chrome here as my model. Instead of that, when I started the recording, I could have went into my PowerPoint and just clicked on, let's look at the whole screen. So today's lesson is going to be about screencasting in Kaltura. And when you look at screencasting in Kaltura, this is what you get. And I could go on and on about, you know, the things that are in my um, lecture and the PowerPoint and if I had images that I wanted to describe you can see it allows me to bring out my pointer so I could point to specific parts of the slide if there was an image here that I wanted to you know really highlight things for the students for that matter I could also go and use a pen to be able to you know point to specific things that I wanted the students to be able to be do I can if you're pretty good with the mouse you can do a bit of writing there. As you can see, I'm not that good with the mouse in terms of actually writing out what it is that I want to write out. Um, but there are other options that you see here, and I can change the pen color down here. But that's all just basic PowerPoint stuff. And then when I'm done, I can just hit Escape here and I'm finished with my PowerPoint. If I want to pause the recording, so say, um, I don't know, the phone rang, I can click on pause, 
the other option that I have is I can click on stop here and stop will say that you know it'll ask you are you really want to stop or did you just want to pause so in my case yes I really wanted to stop and you can see here now it's actually gone and there is my recording right there so my Kaltura capture recording from March 2nd so that's fine with me I'm going to put a tag in it for class one and then I'm going to save and upload and you want to pick save and upload because if you just save it it saves it to your local computer if you save and upload it it actually uploads it to Kaltura within your canvas area so you can then go in and edit the video so if I click save and upload you'll see that it wants to go in and it's sending it across there now so here's the video that's going it's 10 percent up and I'll just let it run here and I'll pause the video while it's it's uploading so as you can see the video has now been uploaded it hit hundred percent there and I had the box show up in the corner so now that it says that it has been uploaded I can just click on the link and if I click on the link here it will take me to it in Kaltura so you can see it brings me up into the my media screen if I were to click on actions it allows me to edit or publish or some of the other things we've been looking at what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on publish and you can see if I click on publish here it allows me to publish it to my specific course in canvas and then I can click save there and it is now publishing to that course so if I were to go back to that course and click on the my media option and refresh here you can see here now when it loads up here is the Kaltura capture recording that I just created and I could now go and embed that into my course so that's a quick video about a couple of different ways in which you can do screencasting in Kaltura